Meet me. Welcome back to another crafting session with Dr. Squirrel. Today we're going to be enhancing actually because um, again we've had two days of hunt events which is a rarity but they've been nice to us for the new year. Happy New Year's to everyone by the way. So we're going to see if we can get anything good out of it. I do have some very promising pieces. Um, it's still the hunt event now so I'm going to get back to that soon. But for now let's take a quick break. And let's see what I've locked. So I've locked all these things. A lot of it's probably just uh, speed gear, but we're gonna scope them all out. Like here, it's just speed gear. So again, if it doesn't go into speed, it gets junked. So we'll do this, speed. It did not go into speed, so it gets junked. And you guys know the rules. And this is a weird piece. Um, I don't know why I kept this, maybe for Fighter Maya or something. All right, let's scope this one out. Speed. Nope. Another toilet. Uh, this one's a speed thingy as well. Uh, it isn't epic, but it looks like it sucks ass and it's a two-speed roll, so we'll wait. We'll wait on the armors. Let's try this little guy. Nope. So all of this gear is going down the toilet so far. Um, yeah, I'll just feed this. Nope. <laughs> the gear grind, boys. Um, okay, speed. Nope. All right, speed. Okay, garbage roll, but it went into speed. Okay, I mean, it got two rolls into speed, but it's only seven speed, so that's useless. Um, this, I probably don't even need to roll right now. This one, let's try speed. Another two-speeder. Oh, wrong button. And this is garbage. Um, this will wait on. Let's do all the next first. Oh, that one looks pretty nice, actually. Speed. Two effectiveness rolls, so that's garbage. <laughs> Welcome to the gear grind, boys. Speed. A one speed roll, so we're going to say F you to that. Um, speed? Nope. So, so far, nothing remotely usable. This one actually looks real nice. Crit chance. On crit set with four speed and effectiveness, all stats that like you could use on Flitica or Cerise, but needs to go into speed. Nope, it did one, but flat on the other one. This one is a beautiful piece. Let's save that for. Uh, this one's a beautiful piece too. Hmm, this one is not though. So let's do this one first. Oh, three speed. Nope, now it's garbage. Ooh, which one do we do first? All right, let's do this one because if it doesn't go into speed, it's garbage. But crit chance, effectiveness, crit damage, attack, and speed. This is um, a pretty nice starting piece. Come on, speed, baby. Speed and effectiveness. Not the worst if it goes into another speed. Come on, four speed roll, four speed roll. Yeesh. Okay. That one's garbage. Oh, I wasn't recording the cursor. Okay, so this one looks amazing. Crit damage, attack, defense, crit chance, high rolls on everything. This, at this point, will ditch. 7, 8, 5. 7, 8, 5. So, decent crit chance roll, bad defense roll. Yeesh. Alright, let's try. Bad defense roll again. <clears throat> um, so not a great piece anymore, but also not garbage. On a bruiser, that might still work, so I'll keep it. What was this thing? Another speed piece. Another garbo roll into speed. Um, and I think that handles most stuff. Another speed piece here. Garbo. Okay, so I guess we're going to work on the helms, armors, and weapons now. 
We don't have any weapons, so why don't we start on those? Garbo. This one doesn't look that great. It has to go into all speed, basically. Yeah, it's not even worth rolling with a two speed. Okay, so that's garbage. I do have a lot of nice um, armor, so I want to save those for last, I think. We'll save that. 554. Five, nice. Seven speed. Uh, let's see what the other helms are before we go for that. This one I don't need right now. Um, okay, let's do this one to plus nine because we could just give up on it if it's trash. Speed, four speed, two speed, yeesh. So this is probably going to be complete garbage because it's unlikely to go into speed again. Yep, so this is a useless helmet. Um, okay, so I have one armor. I have two armors I was really excited about. This one is an absolute beauty. Uh, this one... Kind of low rolls, but still. And then I have um, this guy and this guy, where I need to go into crit chance and crit damage. So let's go from worst to best. So we're going to try this one first, because this is a standard speed piece. Yep, and that is Garbo now. Um, I want to save that one. This is another standard speed piece. Did go into speed. Come on, baby. Four speed. Ugh, nah, that's not good. Okay, this is another speed piece. Okay, four speed. And a decent health roll, because I started at 4%. Hmm... We'll probably continue with that. This one's probably going to get junked, so let's try this one. 3, 6. Yeah, min roll into crit damage. We don't need you. That's a beaut. Okay, so let's gamble with these two first because they're the riskier ones. 6 and 5. 8, 6, 5. So, oh my god. Minimum health roll, of course. Maximum crit chance roll. We're going to save it, but I don't know about that. 7, 5, 6, 8. Crit chance or crit damage? Please, a decent roll. 3% crit chance roll. Meh. Effectiveness. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's just do one more because we're crazy. Oh my. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> Okay, this one's still salvageable. This one's just junk. Um, this one's not great either, but we'll keep it. Okay, let's try this one. 11, 4, 8. Two speed roll. Hmm. What was it at? Like 12? <sighs> this isn't great. But, okay, let's try this one, 887. This is as sweet of a purple as you can get, 887, 887. So we got 11 out of two defense rolls. So not great rolls, we're about 5% short, but because the starting rolls were so good, it's still not a bad piece, 8818. 5% effect resist roll. So right now it's at 39 in terms of points. A max crit chance roll. Screw it, we're plus 15-ing this. It's the best thing I've seen, even though it's not too great. The rolls were not too impressive. 13, 8, 18. 4% defense roll. 
So actually, this ends up being kind of crappy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, not going to roll that. Not going to roll that yet. Okay. Let's put all our hopes on this thing. Four speed. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, it's an okay backup piece. Um, but yeah, not too great. And there we go. That's uh, the stuff I was going to roll for my <clears throat> wyvern drops. As you can see, I got nothing particularly good. Um, the way to measure it, so for those of you guys who aren't that familiar with gear still, the best way to measure it is see how far off a starting roll it is. So here, you can see that theoretically if you had an epic, you could start 8885 here. So basically I think of this as one effect resist roll, but even then it's lower because it could have been 16, and then two defense rolls, right? So with two perfect defense rolls and a start, you could add 24. So really you could have this same piece at a plus nine on an epic. So really not that good. So it's not really taking the most advantage of the possible rolls and the stats. For this one, using that same logic, you could argue two max health rolls and then two kind of medium speed rolls. So this one's not horrible, but the starting rolls on effect resist and the flat health weren't too good. So anyways, that's my crafting video, as usual, kind of demoralizing, but on the bright note, while I wasn't recording, I managed to get these two pieces that were very spicy. Um, I got this for my Cerise 20 speed on a crit chance main, which is very important when you're pairing with something like CDOM. So I got a flat health roll into this. If it was 24 speed, I would have just, you know, had to change my pants, but this one was still pretty sick. And this one was a beaut, perfect subs for an offensive thing. A flat attack, attack percent, crit chance, and speed. And I got a decent amount of crit chance rolls, decent amount of attack rolls. So this was definitely, like if you use that same logic, granted this is reforged, but you can argue that this got three max rolls into crit chance and two max rolls into attack. Obviously I didn't because this is reforged, but still, um, if it wasn't reforged, it'd literally be a perfect piece. So this one, at least I picked this bad boy up. So anyways, I hope you guys had better luck than me. Um, I'm going to go back to hunting. I have around, I don't even know, 13,000 wyvern claws during hunt event days. I can grind around 8k wyvern claws a day during the hunt event days. It's the only real time I grind. So we will have a crafting video up for you guys soon. And we'll most likely fail again, but we'll see what happens. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, best of luck to you guys on getting some decent crap off these hunt events. Until next time, peace out, boys.